So let's look at the song Here I Am To Worship. Now, because the song is in the key of E, all the notes we've just learned in that scale are the ones we'll need to play the song. So let's take a look at the verse and find out what notes we need to learn for the verse. Now, the first three chords in the verse are E, B, and F sharp minor. Now, with F chords like F sharp minor, it's handy to know that as a bass player, you just play the root note, regardless of whether it's a major or a minor or any other chord. So that's handy. So let's try and find those notes. An E, that's an open E string there. A B is the second fret on the A string. And an F sharp is the second fret on the E string. Now the next three chords in the verse are E, B and A, which is great because we've already got those two of those down, the E and the B. And the A is simply just the open string there. So those are all the notes that we need to learn for the verse. Now with this song, two chords happen in the space of one bar. That's the first two chords, the E and the B. So what we'll do is we'll play E for two beats, one and two, and then B for the next two beats, three and four. Let's try that together. Three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. Now the next chord, the F sharp, that lasts for one bar. Um, the same thing happens with the next three chords, the E, the B, and the A. The E and the B both come in the next bar, two beats on the E, two beats on the B, and then the A, the next note, same as the F sharp, lasts for one bar. So let's try those four bars together. Starting with the E and the B. Three, four, one, two, B, two, F sharp, two, three, four. Now the E, one, two, B, two, and A for a bar. One more time, and one, two, three, four. F sharp, two, three, four. E and B, four, A, two, three, four. Now as bass players, we play both the harmony, the notes, and also we add the rhythm. So let's try and add some rhythm into that verse part. I'll demonstrate to you a rhythm that could work really well. Now, if you remember counting eighth notes, let's count eighth notes along with that rhythm and see where the rhythm lands. Okay, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and. So all the notes seem to be landing on one, two and, and also three. One, two and three. One, two, and three. So that's the rhythm for each bar of the verse. So let's try that again, but break it down and do it a little slower. So here we go, play along with me. Three, four, one, two, and three. So let's just break that bit down actually first. So we've got one, two, and three. So two notes on the B, on the E, sorry. Two notes on the E, and then go to the B. One, two, and three. Remember, don't play the rhythm on the two, but the and is in the middle of two and three. So, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And remember also, if you can, to try and use alternate fingers as well. So let's just try running that bar over and over again. Three, four. One, two, and three. Back to the E. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. The next bar is F sharp with exactly the same rhythm. So let's loop that bar and make sure we've got that one down. Three, four, one, two, and three. So that's just three F sharps on one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Try and use alternate fingers, remember? Two and three. One, two, and three. And the same thing applies for the next bar. The next bar is the same as the first bar. It's the E and the B. Let's try that again. Three, four, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. 
And the fourth bar, similar to the second bar, the F sharp, is an A note and is the same rhythm but just on the A. So three notes on the A. One, two, and three. Not on the two, remember, on the two and three. One, two, and three. So let's try putting all four bars together. Let's keep it nice and slow. One, two, three, four. E, E, B, F sharp next. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. E and B, and B to the A. One, two, and three. And again, E and B. One, two, E, B. F sharp, and three. E and B, E, and B, A, A, A. Now before we look at the chorus, just remember that there's usually an extra bar of A that happens just before you go into the chorus. So that's something to remember for later on. But now the chorus, let's look at what chords we need to learn. The first chord is E. Now instead of playing this as an open string, let's play it up on the D string on the second fret. Now the reason for this is because the next chord is B over D sharp. Now this might look strange, uh, but this just means that the chord is B and the next note you see, that D sharp, that means that's the bass note. So that means that's a note we've got to play as bass players. So the D sharp, as you remember from our scale, is the first fret on the D string. Now that's nice and close to the, the E note we've already learned, which is why we put them together. So those are the first two chords. The third chord is E over G sharp, another funny looking chord. So the chord is E, but the bass note is G sharp. Now remember that G sharp is the fourth fret on the E string. And then the fourth chord is A, which is an open string. Now before we put any rhythm in, let's just walk through those chords in a succession. Now with these chords, they all last the length of one bar, so it's four counts on each chord. So let's walk through that. I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. E with your middle finger. Let's go down to D sharp with your index finger. And then G sharp with your little finger. And then A, open string. Let's try that again. And one, two, three. Down to D sharp. Two, three. Down to G sharp. Two, three, four. And A. One more time through. Up to E. One, two, three. Down to D sharp. Two, three. Down to G sharp. Two, three, and A. Now let's try adding the rhythm back in. Now the rhythm we're going to use is slightly different to the rhythm we had in the verse. Now let's remind ourselves of what that rhythm was. It was one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Now the difference is for this rhythm, it's going to be one, two, three, and. So we're moving the beat from the two and onto the three and. So you get one, three, and also three and. So that's one, two, three and. One, two, three and. Now let's try using that rhythm. For starters, let's just try using the E note. And before moving on to any other chord, let's just get that rhythm into our fingers. So let's fret the E note on the second fret on the uh, D string and start that rhythm. So three, four, one, two, three, and, one, two, three, and, four, and, one, two, three, and, one, two, three, and, one, two, three, and, one, two, three, and. So let's try incorporating that rhythm into all the chords in the chorus, which to remind you are E, D sharp, G sharp, and then open A. So after four, two, three, four. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. G sharp, two, three, and. Open A, one, two, three, and. E, two, three, and. D 
sharp. Three and G sharp there. Three and A. One more time through. Back to E. One, two, three and. One, two, three and. G sharp. Three and. One, two, three and. Now remember with the chorus, the format is usually that the chords run through twice. So those four chords we learnt, you play them through twice, and that's one chorus. And also remember that at the end of a chorus, there's quite often an extra bar of A, just like the verse. So that's something to keep in mind for later on. Now let's look at the bridge and what chords we need to learn for the bridge. This is the last section of the song. Now the first chord we need to learn for the bridge is a B over D sharp, another slash chord. So remember you're playing the note which is to the right of the chord, the D sharp, which we know is the first fret on the D string. The next chord is E over G sharp, another slash chord again. So we need to play the G sharp, the note to the right of the chord. That's the fourth fret on the E string. And then the last chord we need to learn in the bridge is A, which again we can play as an open A. Now just like the verse, the first two chords happen in the first bar. So that's D sharp for two counts, and then G sharp for two counts. And the A lasts a whole bar. Let's run that quickly. Two, three, four. D sharp, two, G sharp, four, A, two, three, and again. D sharp, two, three, four, A, two, three, four. Now let's incorporate some rhythm into the bridge. We're gonna use the same rhythm as we used in the verse, which was one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So let's try using that with the notes. After four, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So breaking that down, there's two notes on the D sharp. One, two, and, and then go straight to the G sharp on three. So that's one, two, and three, four to the A. Let's try that together. Three, four. One, two, and 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 three, four. So again, we've been joined by Andy, who's going to help us play through the whole song. Before we do the complete run through, again, let's try each section, just to refresh our memory and the rhythms. Uh, along with Andy's chords. So let's start with a verse. Remember the rhythm was one, two, and three. Um, and the first chord is an E. Okay, and I'll talk you through it. Okay, after four. Two, three, four. Light of the world. Down to F sharp. Two and three. E, two and three. Back to A. One, two, and three. Back to E. F sharp, one, two, and three, and three, and. Now let's look at the chorus. Remember this has a slightly different rhythm. The one, two, three, and. So after four again. One, two, here I am to worship. I am to bow here I am to say that you're my God, you're altogether worthy, altogether lovely, altogether wonderful to me. And finally, let's just run through the bridge, which is D sharp. G sharp and A with the rhythm like the verse. Okay, after four, two, three. And I'll never know how much it cost to see my sin upon that. Let's keep going. And I'll never know how much it cost to see my sin. Upon 
Okay, we're ready for the playthrough. Let's try and get through the verse, the chorus, the bridge, and then back to a chorus as well. And I'll try and direct you through. Okay, after four. Two, three, four. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. Extra bar here before the chorus. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow. Make sure I get the different rhythm. One, two, three, and one. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Here's the extra bar before the bridge. Bar of A. One, two. Here I am to worship. Three and one, two, three and. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. So now we've learned the key of E and a song in the key of E, and you'll find that you can use exactly those very same notes to play other songs in the key of E, like Let Everything That Has Breath, Better Is One Day, and Open The Eyes Of My Heart. Now if you want to try that song again, you can download the chord chart from the member section of the Music Academy website, or try playing along to the backing track on the DVD.